Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Choi is eight years his senior. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the USC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Bulldog! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Big off the punch land. Now he gets back to range. There's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs there. Just out of range with that right hook. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Nice loop and punch. Right hook to the body. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big kick lands. Now a counter with a body. Good job by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Let's get that takedown and win the round. Out of range with that kick attempt. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He blocks the punch. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, big punch land. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So, one thing you can do, is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick you over and over again. Get close, fight with the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. 20 seconds left. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, nice job avoiding the damage from that elbow. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. All right, let's get you some of the action from that previous round, DC. And those are some serious leg kicks, man. He gets the leg to the target so quickly. He gets his foot off the ground so quickly that you don't even recognize that it's coming. And that's really confusing his opponent. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Shane? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice 
Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Choi. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jabs. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down for the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Blocks the shot. to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You should never be a stationary target, but even as a feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Done, bleeding from his cheek now. There's no tell on that leg kick. Three minutes to go in round two. Another big leg kick land. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Oh, nice. Nice straight punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right hand upstairs! Ooh, what a head kick. Right hand is on point. Big kick. Just misses with the jab. Ooh, blocks the shot. Rips the body there. Elbow lands for him. Sneaky head kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Still nice body kick lands. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. That right thigh really starting to show some bruising. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big head kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Right hand landed. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Can't take many of those, you better check. Good right hand. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Leg kick. Big punch land through the middle. Straight right is there. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. A oh, good lead right by the Korean Super Bowl. Ten minutes in the books. All right now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of strike? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. 
Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable striking. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, put their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. It was still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close this point. Nice punch, man. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Choi's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Oh, man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Good punch land. Oh, nice. Plus right hand is true. Big head kick land. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Just over three minutes to go in round three. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Checks the leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Lands with a right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice kick. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Head kick. crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh! That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nice job of hiding that head kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Nice leg kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Whoa! the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. 
Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Final seconds of round three. Punch over the top. Just misses with the left hook. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Beautiful punch. Get off first. Well, not only is stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kid. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Great punch landing with so much power. And they separate. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Visibly limping here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Big kick lands. How good is that right here? Do you believe it? He got him. What a performance. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called stop this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO. Hold on. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO, and the judges were looking at their phones. It's okay, we don't need the scorecards. We don't need the scorecards, do as you may. Proceed as you may, because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot.